Today I want to change your perception of what a digital camera can be by introducing you to Sony's new range of digital SLT cameras and their amazing mirrors. I'm Tim and this is Learn TV. <laughs> Since Sony introduced its first digital SLR back in 2006, the Alpha range has already pioneered some really great innovations, including technologies like SteadyShot, which prevents minute camera shake from ruining your photos with blur, regardless of what sort of lens you're using, all the way through to Quick AF Live View, which ensures that you get the performance of a digital SLR, but the ease of use of a compact point and shoot camera. Earlier this year, Sony introduced the NEX series of digital cameras, the world's smallest to feature APS sized sensors, putting amazing creative control into the hands of even those without any previous photographic experience. 3D capture, sweet panorama, face detection with smile shutter, and the remarkable 24.6 megapixel full frame sensor introduced on the Alpha 900. All game changers from the company that introduced the world's first interchangeable lens digital camera way back in 1981. But now Sony is moving beyond just changing the game to changing the entire outlook for this category of camera. You've probably seen digital SLRs that shoot short bursts of photos or even movies, but you've never seen anything like the digital SLT before. However, we need to back up a little bit, because for a lot of you, you've probably heard the term digital SLR before, you may even own a digital SLR, but few people really understand what SLRs are actually all about. SLRs have been around since well back in the days of film cameras. SLR is short for single lens reflex, and refers to the method used by these cameras to enable a user to frame up their photo through whatever lens is attached to the camera, and therefore capture it without what's known as a parallax error, where your view through the viewfinder differs slightly from what is actually framed through the lens itself. Of course, in this era of digital cameras, this has become much less of an issue, because most users simply frame up their images using the LCD screen on the back of the camera. However, for users of SLRs, whether they're film or digital, the viewfinder has always been the best way of seeing exactly what the camera is seeing. So in order to be able to achieve this on an SLR, a technology called a reflex mirror is used. This angled mirror directs the image through the lens and via a series of other mirrors or a prism into the viewfinder. When you capture an image, the reflex mirror flips out of the way and exposes the capture sensor to the image. With large capture sensors, interchangeable lenses, manual control, and of course, performance-oriented features, digital SLRs have typically been the choice of professionals. But there's one other benefit of a digital SLR that applies to all users, and that is very fast focusing thanks to a technology called phase detection. So digital cameras typically focus in one of two ways, contrast detection, commonly found on compact cameras, or phase detection, found on SLRs. Phase detection works by effectively measuring the distance from the lens to your subject. Contrast detection, on the other hand, measures the sharpness of the picture by digitally analyzing it. Phase detection works by aligning your image onto two tiny sensors in order to measure the distance to your subject. It's very fast because the camera can instantly determine in which direction, forward or backwards, and how far it needs to focus. The disadvantage of it is that the image needs to be directed to both the focusing sensors and to your eye, or to the camera sensor. So it's much more complex mechanically. In fact, many digital SLRs achieve this by making a small section of the reflex mirror semi-transparent and adding another tiny mirror to direct the image both up and down simultaneously. What all this means is that if you're using a camera that has got a live preview on the back screen, it's typically going to be using contrast detection autofocus. And this is regardless of whether it's a compact camera or a fancy digital SLR with live view or movie recording. Now this is because in order to capture an image on a digital SLR, you need to flip the reflex mirror out of the way. And in most cases, that means disabling the autofocus system. 
In fact, on many digital SLRs with Live View, there's no autofocus at all if you choose to use the Live Preview screen. The trouble with contrast detection autofocus is, in order to determine at what focus point the image is at its sharpest, it must always overshoot that point. With this system, it's not until the image starts to go out of focus again that the camera realizes it was in focus previously. Naturally, the clever bods at Sony came up with a solution to this problem called Quick AF Live View. Now, Quick AF Live View uses a second sensor in order to give you the image on the rear screen while at the same time ensuring that the mirror remains down and so therefore phase detection autofocus is still active on selected digital SLRs. And it works great! The trouble with it is it works great for photos, however, it's not possible to use this system for movie recording. So, the Sony engineers had to come up with another solution. So the technology that we're talking about today, digital SLT, or digital single lens translucent cameras, turn all of this on its head. What this means is super fast autofocusing, whether you're shooting still or video, and performance that defies belief, thanks to Sony's unique translucent mirror. From the outside, a digital SLT camera looks and behaves very similarly to a digital SLR camera. They still use the big high resolution sensors that SLRs offer, they still offer the same manual control, and they still support the same high quality lenses, including those from Sony G and of course Zeiss. In fact, the biggest difference that you'll notice is that they're quite a lot smaller and lighter than a conventional SLR, around about 25%. But of course, it's on the inside where things really change. A digital SLT doesn't have a flip-up reflex mirror. It uses a translucent mirror instead. The image is still directed to both the capture sensor and the phase detection autofocus sensor. But when you capture an image, the mirror doesn't move. The image is actually captured through it. So that helps to make digital SLTs quieter. And they also don't suffer from the same mirror movement vibrations that can sometimes cause blur when you're taking for example, macro photographs or close-up photographs with a conventional digital SLR. Because the capture sensor and the autofocus sensor both receive the image at the same time, you have constant fast autofocus, meaning you can achieve things unheard of at these sorts of prices, like 10 frames a second with continuous shooting at full resolution and with full autofocus for every frame. Or full HD movie recording with the fast phase detection autofocus something that is simply not possible with a conventional digital SLR. Sony is introducing two new digital SLT cameras, the Alpha 33 and the Alpha 55. The 55 uses a slightly higher 16.2 megapixel Exmor CMOS sensor to the 33's 14.2 megapixel sensor. And the 33 shoots photo at 7 versus 10 frames per second. Both shoot HD movies in the high quality AVC HD format as well as MPEG-4 for easy uploading to the web. And the Alpha 55 also features integrated GPS, which will automatically record the exact location your images were captured anywhere in the world. Using the translucent mirror system means that these cameras have got a true finder in place of a conventional optical viewfinder. Now purists are probably going to balk at the idea of using an electronic viewfinder versus a true optical viewfinder, but trust me, you need to see it. Unlike an optical viewfinder, this over 1 million pixel display displays not just basic camera settings, but features a dynamic horizon, it picks up your face detection, and it even lets you instantly preview creative colour styles or focus magnification. The display is nothing like any electronic viewfinder you've seen before. It's got incredible contrast and a high refresh rate to prevent any flicker. And when shooting in low light, or using features like a depth of field preview, which lets you check the area of your image which will be in focus, the true finder will automatically brighten to let you confirm your focus points even at very small apertures. An amazing creative tool. Of course, you can always use the extra fine LCD on the back which will rotate to just about any angle to allow shooting of even self-portraits. One of the best things about the digital SLT cameras from Sony is that not only do they take great photographs, they make taking great photographs simple and easy. And this is regardless of whether you have previously owned a digital SLR or you're moving up from a compact point and shoot. 
They use a lot of technologies adapted from CyberShots. So they allow you to do things like stitch together multiple images in order to create high resolution panoramas with a single sweep of your camera. Or layering images on top of each other in order to capture images in impossibly low light without having to use the flash. They can even capture true 3D images for the latest TVs. Again, simply by sweeping the camera in front of you. And for those wanting to experiment a bit more, you can capture images at high ISO settings or use the intelligent modes to create amazing high dynamic range images and automatically compensate for common photographic challenges like backlit subjects. It's all extremely easy to do thanks to a newly designed menu system. And then once you've filled up your SD or memory stick card with photos and videos, connecting your camera to your TV is simple using the HDMI connection or of course connect it to your computer. There's a great range of software supplied with these cameras that allows you to very quickly and easily share your photos with your family, your friends and the world. As you can probably imagine there's loads more to discover about the new digital SLT cameras from Sony that I simply don't have time to go through right now. Make sure you check them out in your nearest store. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.